95 here bringing you another episode. In today's episode, we have a technical analysis on Dogecoin here, currently up about 4% for the day. But we're looking at the Satoshi value sitting at 57 Satoshis, up about 2%. But really quick though, folks, let's go ahead and run through the market. Market cap is sitting at 430 billion. Today's volume is 23.2 billion. Bitcoin dominance sitting at 36.4. Bitcoin up about a percent and a half for the day, folks, sitting at 9,200. Ethereum up two and a half, sitting at 685. Ripple up almost 3, sitting at 85. Bitcoin Cash up 10. EOS up 6, sitting at still below 20. Lumens is up 1. Litecoin up 2. Who are the big winners today? Loom Network up 38. Redcoin up 13.5. Stratus up 11. Fusion up 11. Digibyte up almost 10. Big Losers, Bitcoin Private, AL, Dragon Chain, Verge, Tron, Substranum. Two folks came here for some Doge. Market cap is sitting at 620 or 602 million. Sorry, today's volume is 25 million. Circulating supply 114 billion. Major exchanges: Fax, Bitrix, Upbit, Polynex, Cryptopia, HitBTC, and Litecoin. Looks like are the major exchanges. Let's go ahead and look at some price action. Let's go ahead and switch over to the four hour. Not much has changed on the daily. Still remaining inside that master candle. Looks like we did finally get that double bottom. However, I'm waiting for the break and close above 9,300 before I decide to add to my position. Oops. Let's go ahead and take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum doing the same thing here, folks. Everything inside our master candle here, not much has changed. Let's go ahead and switch over to the four hours, see what the four hours showing us. Oh, there we go. This looks a little bit more appealing. Bottom one. Bottom two, waiting for that break and close above 700, we're almost 700, so about 690 here, 695 on the four hour. Wait till we get that break and close above 695 on the four hour, folks. As you can tell, momentum has definitely started to shift towards the upside again. Just wait for that break and close. Let's go ahead and take a look at Litecoin. Litecoin behaving the same way inside this master candle, not much has changed. Kind of just been hovering above support. Switch over to the four hour, give us that better look. Test one, test two, test three. What I'm waiting for, folks, is I'm waiting for that break and close. You could take an aggressive entry here, or you could just play it a little bit safer and wait till we get that break and close above 155. I'm waiting for the break and close above 155 on the four hour. Once we do break and close above 155 on the four hour, Litecoin should be good to go. A few folks came here for some Doge technical analysis. This is just Doge to BTC on the weekly. Just kind of want to show you this nice little triangle pattern we have. Go ahead, switch over to the daily. Any signs on the daily for entry? No signs of, uh, of entry here on the daily. However, we did form a new higher high. Looks like this could potentially be our higher low. I wouldn't be surprised. As you could tell, we were at, this was a support for us previously. So this could be a support level for us. Let's go ahead and switch over to the four hours. See if the four hours showing us any entries. Okay, here we go. So on the four hour, we get a better idea. So this could be our support here. And if you're looking to enter Doge, folks, what I would actually wait for is a break and close above 60 Satoshis. Once we break and close above 60 Satoshis here on the four hour, Dogecoin should be good to go. However, for whatever reason, Dogecoin does not hold at this level, which I, I think it will. We bounce once. Looks like we're going to get the confirmation here. Expect, expect Dogecoin to come down to about 50 Satoshis and then bouncing towards the upside. However, I don't think this, this is going to happen. I think most likely we're just going to break through this level here. But again, folks, this is just my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. You guys already know. But where do I see Dogecoin going in 2018? Currently sitting at about 50 Satoshis. I think we could easily come up to 200 Satoshis towards the end of 2018. But again, folks, it's just my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. You guys already know. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to re steam upvote. Comment down below what kind of coins you guys are trying to see. If you guys are on YouTube, make sure you guys are subscribed and you have post notifications turned on. I do post a, a video, a new video every single day. Sorry. Oh, I'm just waking up. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace.